Oh, hi there. I'm John Scripp, the Technical Supervisor at the Al Larson Prairie Center for the Arts in Schaumburg, Illinois. Uh, I'm joined by Bobblehead Al Larson here, former mayor of Schaumburg, and uh, uh, the, the gentleman who we named this place after. Uh, notice that there's a kind of a shortage of videos on the disassembly of Source 4 lenses. Uh, we, we had uh, some downtime, COVID-19 time, everybody. And uh, we decided that the lenses needed to be cleaned up pretty good. And they're, they're really in much worse shape than I thought. Uh, 36s, of course, have dual lenses and you can't get to that inside part. So what we did is we took them all outside. I've got a rack of them here. Uh, and hosed them down with as high pressure water as we could just to knock all the crap off of them. And now what I'm doing, uh, you know, the, the 19s were easy to, to do this assembled. Uh, the 36s is not so much. Uh, but anyway, so you've got your lens tube here. You need some tools. You'll need a screwdriver, make sure it's magnetized. This one wasn't a couple strokes across a magnet. Now it is, very important. Uh, a pencil with an eraser on it, comes in handy on the G series. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I'm using a 50-50 solution of dihydrogen monoxide, which is water and uh, distilled white vinegar, because after the hosing off, we were left with some water spots, uh, and this takes it off perfectly. So, long story short, that's really all the tools you need. Uh, this guy comes in handy if you, when your wrist starts getting tired near the end of the day. So if you color code your tubes, like we do, oh, with electrical tape, leave that on for now. You're gonna break these screws loose. Uh, I'm using, a, I'm, this is a G-series tube, by the way. Uh, this has uh, small lock nuts and, uh, and short bolts. The J-series, which we have a bunch of. I'm not even sure exactly what we have here, uh, but I've run into G's and J's so far. Uh, the J series uh, are tapped directly into the barrel, so you don't have to worry about these these nuts. But uh, in this case, we're doing it in the G series. So I'm gonna break these loose, just kind of get them started here. And you'll notice that Three of them have these lock nuts on them, and one of them, which is at the bottom of the tube, does not. It's tapped directly in. And this is part A, where you'll find your magnetized screwdriver comes in handy. You've got a roll of electrical tapes here to sit and put parts in. Uh, once they're all loose, if you want to speed that up a little bit, same thing, magnetized tip. Love it. Yep, doesn't fit in there. So, oh no, that's the one I already took out, so we gotta get this guy out, which uh, I have experienced that does not fit. So, you get in there. Should probably put my glasses on. Helps. Always wear your safety glasses, or reading glasses, in my case. Make that little nut loose. Magnetized screwdriver. So now I'm gonna take the tube apart. Uh, if I didn't have the tape on here, the tube may have fallen apart already, which you kinda don't wanna do. Got experience in that too. Uh, so I'll take the tape off. Usually I can reuse the tape. I've been reusing it all mostly so far. So I'm just gonna kind of roll her over and put that aside. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Uh, you've got five mounts on here. There's three on one side and two on the other. I've noticed that putting the three at the bottom makes it easier. So I've got your three sides here two sides here, the, the mounts, they're little rubber mounts. Uh, put three down, which will have your your uh, release right here. There's a spring on there, watch out. 
There are nuts captured in the sides where your, uh, where your barrel nut went. And if you lift it carefully, the spring just came out, so you have to watch for that. And if you're lucky, like I just was, all those little rubber mounts have stayed in place. If that's what happened, don't take anything else apart. Get three rags. Get a wet rag, a drying rag, and a polishing rag. Hold on to these two little rubber uh, spacers in here. Work the lens with your 50% vinegar, 50% water solution. The little spring just came off again. Same thing, work the sides that you can't get to. That's the important part. That's why we're taking it apart, because these are the sides that we can't get to. Doesn't take long. Uh, if the lens is relatively, you know, soil free, uh, which they were from, from hosing them off, we let them dry overnight. So, wet rag, dry rag, just kind of get the excess off. That spring came off again. Sometimes set it off to the side if you're only doing a few of them. I'm just trying to keep all the parts together. So I'm not chasing them down later. It's supposed to capture on here. Sometimes they just come off. And then a polishing cloth the one you want to change most frequently. The spring came off again. Okay, uh, have a look-see. Oh my goodness, it looks wonderful. Have a good look. You know, look around, make sure you didn't miss anything. So, before you put it back together, make sure you've got all your parts. You've got your, uh, see if I can get this thing to sit right. Your frame snapper here, make sure that that's set in properly. You've got capture bolts or capture nuts for your, for your lens tube, uh, your barrel nut. And make sure that your lenses are in properly. Uh, if you had to take the lens out, if the lens comes out, uh, you have to make sure that all these little rubber spacers are intact and where they're supposed to be. Now, I don't know if this is just dumb luck uh, and it's relatively early in the day, but since we hosed these off, all of these have, have stayed on the lens. We haven't had any come off. And uh, knock on wood, I think there's some wood in here. And, and when that happens, it's a dream to put these back together. If that doesn't happen, yeah, you might have to do some finagling. So you're gonna take your uh, the other half of your barrel here and make sure that it sets on your snap quick there. And give it a squeeze, make sure it's all, it all sits right. Look inside, make sure that those, uh, those spacers seem proper. Give it another look now that it's in the dark. It looks great. We're really happy. Uh, all the screws came out one side, if I didn't mention that earlier. All the screws go back in the same side. So now that you've got it put back together, uh, this is that bottom part that I mentioned earlier. This is where the, uh, the barrel is tapped and you're not gonna use a, uh, a lock nut there. Uh, I've been putting that one on first, taking it off last, putting it on first. So magnetized screwdriver again comes in very handy for this. Uh, be kind of delicate. Don't cross thread here. You're in trouble if you do. And I tighten it most of the way down just, just till it just starts to snug up. And I'm kind of going around the opposite side here, lining this up with the nut. Magnetized screwdriver. Get that in there. 
start this up. Same thing, just on the other bottom. These are relatively easy to start, but you do have to finagle that in there. But once it once it catches it, it can't rotate in there. Now, this last one. This is where the uh, J series comes in handy. So here you've got to get the screw in from this side and the nut in from this side. So what I've been doing is kind of just putting it in here because there's you can't put it in from the top. It won't fit. So if you get it to sit in the track, this is where that pencil comes in handy and your magnetized screwdriver, of course. Just kind of push those together until they lock together nicely. Once it starts, you're off to the races. Tighten that one down completely. Tighten your top one down again completely. Tighten the two rear ones up completely. Give it another look. And it's looking good. Looks brand new. We love it. Once you're finished, make sure that that still works nicely. And if you color code your tubes, put your tape back on. You're probably asking, well, why did you uh, leave the tape on before, but not just tape it together right away to hold it together while you were putting the bolts in? It's a good question. But if you do, generally, the tape is going to get pinched at some point. And, you know, it might not be a big deal, but it might be at a point where it impedes the tube, or the it, it impedes your lens tube from going into the barrel properly. But uh, you want to keep that nice and flat. But there you have it. It's done. It's clean. On to the next one.